I know it's so difficult, but we really have to control our addiction to this commercial drug. A body that respects the epigenetic factors is a strong body. Of all probiotics, Polardi has been shown in many studies to be one of the most effective in controlling candida overgrowth. Welcome to my channel. I share science-based solutions for everyday life. My name is André Dorado and I am an integrative health expert. Candida albicans is one of the yeasts that can cause infections. It has the great ability to adapt, to modify itself and hide from immune system and can live in the skin, mouth, throat, gut and vagina without causing problems. Candida infections includes candidemia, invasive candidiasis, chronic disseminated candidiasis, oropharyngeal, esophageal and vaginal candidiasis. Candidemia can be defined as the presence of any candida species in the blood. Blood cultures are essential for diagnosing candidemia. Invasive candidiasis is frequently a multi-organ infection including candidemia. Blood tests are negative in one-third of the cases. Beta-glucan detection is the best diagnosis and can also be used to diagnose candidemia. It is recommended to be performed twice a week. In Europe and America, the most used is fungi tell. Beta-D-glucan test is also recommended for chronic disseminated candidiasis detection, but Manan and anti-Manan quantification tests can also be used as a diagnostic. The best test for oropharyngeal candidiasis and esophageal candidiasis is a swab taken from the lesion. And in vaginal candidiasis, examination of swabs and vaginal secretions are used to detect infection. Tell me in the comments below what kind of candida infection you have. If you don't know, the symptoms of candida overgrowth can include gas, constipation of diarrhea, itchy skin, allergies, sugar craving, irritability, depression, or even poor memory. After this video, I recommend you to watch my other video about the five signs of candida infection, where I explain why it's so difficult to eliminate this yeast. To be successful, we need to do an integrative work involving food, supplements, and eliminate the factors that stimulate candida overgrowth. Diet high in sugar and flour, overuse of antibiotics and prolonged stress are the three main factors. Eating too much sweets, cookies, cakes and white bread creates mental addiction like an drug and the proper environment for yeast growth. Taking antibiotics several times a year as well and stress depress the immune system, facilitating its spread. I know it's so difficult but we really have to control our addiction to this commercial drug. There are supplements that help to reduce sugar craving for those who need. But if your problem is to use antibiotics frequently, you need to understand why your immunity is so weak. It can be because of what we eat, lack of vitamins, too much stress, do not exercise or be in contact with nature and sunlight. A body that respects the epigenetic factors is a strong body. Nothing gets him down. The bark of this tree from the Amazon forest is one of the best remedies in the world to eliminate any candida species, more potent than ketonazole, an antifungal used in medicine. We can take it in capsules or make a tea with the bark. It has antifungal, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, an anti-cancer action. Drink between half a liter and one liter per day for one mouth. You can also take in capsules, but I recommend the tea. It became famous for controlling candida and bacteria overgrowing the gut. It is a powerful antifungal and antibacterial. You can take this oil in capsules or you can mix the herb with what I'll talk about next. The oldest known antiseptic. When macerated in olive oil, it forms ajuan, a much more powerful molecule against many yeasts. To produce it, just place crushed garlic in a glass jar and cover it with extra virgin olive oil 
and let it rest for two weeks, shaking it from time to time. Add oregano and make a two-in-one and use this oil with garlic and oregano flavor to season your food. This natural remedy is a potent and very tasty medicine. Grapefruit seed extract is another potent natural antiseptic that helps control the overgrowth of bacteria and fungi that cause intestinal upset. Some supplements have this extract mixed with palvarco or lapacho, garlic and caprylic acid, another product that helps to control candida overgrowth. For example, his cleanse from solar ray is a good supplement to help control candida. Bicarbonate is a candida poison and one of the quickest and most effective. Some professionals recommend it, but unless you use it externally as an enema or intravenously, I don't see how it can reach the intestine with these properties, because in the stomach it will react with the hydrochloridic acid, forming sodium chloride and CO2 that is gas. But if it is candidiasis in the mouth, throat or esophagus, it can help. Mix a dessert spoon in a glass of water and rinse or gargle for a minute and throw away. If you have vaginal candidiasis, take a sixth bath with bicarbonate or cider vinegar. Watch my video on six tips to stop urinary tract infections for good to learn how to do this super effective technique to control vaginal candidiasis. Taking high doses of vitamin C for short periods of time is a protocol used with scientific evidence of effectiveness to control viral infections, but it also works with candida. The mechanisms of action are being studied and are not entirely clear. Most studies are done on colds, flu and viral infections such as COVID. If you are prone to oxalate kidney stones, don't do this method without supervision. If you don't have problems with kidney stones, then take vitamin C in the form of sodium ascorbate, like this supplement, and not as ascorbic acid, like in the effervescent tablets. Start with 2 or 3 grams, increase up to 6 grams per day, and stay at these doses for a week. Then decrease to 2 or 3 grams until completing a month. We need to help our microscopic allies to defeat candida for good. They live in our digestive tract, coordinate our troops and protect us from infections. Of all probiotics, Polardi has been shown in many studies to be one of the most effective in controlling candida overgrowth. Take a Polardi supplement like this one, two or three capsules per day for one month to modify your gut microbiota. In conclusion, Exercise, take vacations and meditate to manage stress. Anxiety is the worst poison for the immune system. Take care of your food without becoming a monk, take a probiotic and combine with one of the methods I mentioned before to control disease. But you know what also can cause a candidate infection? Not writing a comment in this video. I hope you are well and see you soon.